All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life here with Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. We're trying to get through this game. Uh, I, I did a little practice, figured out a couple things. I think I'm getting a little bit better. As we move forward, I will. Um, there's a couple funny things that we can do here. <clears throat> We're going to try to stay quiet. I just remembered how to put on my suppressor, which is awesome. So we're gonna move right here real quick. Okay. I just gotta remember how to shoot. The guy is gonna come from that direction. There's a snake right there. There he is. Okay, hold on. We're gonna move him into the grass. And then still not master the controls, but I'm getting there. Alright, so put him in the grass. I think there's four guys here. Okay, that's two. Give me a second. So, two things. First off, I'm going to get the shotgun real quick. Hey, bud. And right here. Got lucky there, but I'll take luck. I'm gonna go put this guy in the grass. I'll put the other guy in the grass. I think that's everyone, but I'm not sure. What do you got? What do you got? Bullets. Hey. Okay, 
I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna tell you about it. How about that? Um, you can mess with your person you're meeting here. Um, more for kicks and giggles. <laughs> so up here you got this. You got a suppressant for your M16. So if you come over here. To that window right there. Okay, I think we're good. If you shoot up that window right there, uh, actually, I can do that part. How about that? Can you get some of the yellow, please stop. You can throw a live snake in there, and he'll scream even more. If you throw a grenade in there, you're gonna get him over. Uh, it's just fun stuff. Okay, what else we got here? Okay, I think that's really it. We're gonna go... There is also a lot of them around here. Revolver. Not exactly sure where he is. But if you shoot him with a lethal weapon, you'll get a game over. <laughs> um, can I get up here? Just not 100% sure where he is, and I'm not trying to do that. All right, we're gonna move on with the story. We're doing uh, that's pretty good. How do I climb over? men you'll never get it from me no i'm a cia agent i've come to escort you back to the other side of the iron curtain your cia yeah i was sent by major zero the man who got you out two years ago zero i have a message from him what is it he said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group 
is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volkin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, so it would seem. I feel like I did their job for him. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major. This is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Stupid. What are you, are you going to ninja chop people, sir? Ayukin? <laughs> He's got to go Ken and Ryu on someone. Weirdo. Freeze! <gasps> This is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? The Ocelot Commander. Eh, that's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Mm. 
We're young, Ocelot. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Back then, he was good at bouncing bullets. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade. Even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. CQC looks really good if you understand and never seen it in, in action. The CQC in this is pretty decent. Pretty realistic. Possible. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides. I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! Short movement. Quick strikes. That was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. <sighs> pretty good. <sighs> All right.
Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. All right, we just got an achievement, Young Gun. Submit up Ocelot. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. I mean, They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. That's a scary thought. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. Nope. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me.
we will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. There are only four. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohat is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now.
lot. Loosen it up more. As soon as the cutscene's over, we're gonna go to stop the video, though. Dramatic. <laughs> Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? OK, Snake. Just relax, and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. All right. Until next time.